Welcome back to the High Elven campaign of Middle-earth. The Noldorin Elves of Middle-earth are once again continuing their struggle to save Middle-earth from darkness and despair. We're doing everything in our power to hold the darkness at bay. And we're doing a damn good job at it at the moment, I would say, because we are besieging Mount... Um, not Mount... Moranon with Glorfindel himself. And we can attack straight away. We want to move in as quickly as possible because we want to move for the mountain here, Mount Doom. Uh, as quickly as possible. Um, so that is the plan here. Take Lawfendel, take this one quickly, just nip in there, take it, sack it, give it to Gondor, move for the mountain straight away. Drop the ring, save the peoples of Middle-earth from destruction. That is the plan. And I would also like to say I want to give a massive shout out to Raven Shadow. A fellow Divide and Conquer Let's Play out there on YouTube. He makes amazing content. It's really nice to see he's editing his clips a lot. And it's really funny to watch his content. And he has an amazing speaking voice as well, I have to say. It's really smooth and clean. I do like it. So if you have no Divide and Conquer action to watch at the moment, please check him out. He's a wonderful lad. He really is. So I highly recommend his channel. I have to say. Okay, and on the Dunlarak frontier, or the front line here, the plan is just to have Gildor besiege with Eldrond for one turn, because I don't want Enadwaith to attack me here. I want to set up the battle as I want it to be, uh, because I want these siege weapons to be completed before we strike. So, as soon as the next turn has passed, I'm gonna take Gildor away from this region, I'm going to attack with Elrond, but I'm going to teleport the king, the northern Dunedain's king, High King Bregnir, is going to join us in this attack here. And I'm also likely going to teleport Mungan over as well, to add some more tension of the battle. Uh, it's gonna be a huge clash at Dunlarak. This is a stronghold as well, so we might lose a lot of our troops in this attack. There's a high possibility that we might. Uh, it's going to be an epic, an epic fight, to be sure, though. It is going to be. Uh, so that is the plan for this episode. Take Moranon straight away, which we are going to do now. Let's do it. Let's not wait. They have five defenders and three basic troops, one general. And if you look at my army, I do think that we have enough to break through here. I don't think that they have enough to take us down. I have every bit of confidence on Glorfindel's ability to have victory this day. So let's do it. Let's move in and let's take Burtz down. Put an end to this let's bombard our way through this hellhole, shall we? Let's do it. Uh, we have two catapults, we have one ballista. That is, should be enough to bring these gates down. Absolutely. And, I mean, these forces that we have here should be able to just storm through without too many issues. We should be able to just send them in and smash the Mordor party going on inside. Uh, just form up the melee forces like that. And uh, the archers, I'm not even sure that we're gonna use you in this fight. Uh, if we have an opportunity with you, then why not? Uh, but for now, let's not. Let's move as close as we can with the siege. Make sure that we hit the gate, and then storm through. They have some archers here, though. No? They're moving, moving down, so it's fine. Uh, I have been sick for a few days. Um, that's why I've been quite absent in terms of uploading videos for you. And I do apologize for it, uh, but uh, I have had some need for some rest these days. Um, I Yeah, that's just how it is. But I'm back, and I'm healthy again, my voice is beginning to be a bit better, and uh, yeah, we're going in, we're going in hard. The destruction of Mordor is about to begin, and I'm actually going to Venice uh, the next week, on Tuesday, and um, with my girlfriend, and it's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be absolutely lovely to go there, with her. I've never been there. Um, Hopefully I can catch a boat ride through the canals of Venice. I'm hoping so. Is that how you say it, say it in English? Is it Venice? It has to be. Yeah. Venezia. Venezia, I think it's called in Italian language. Venezia. Or, yeah, you know which place I'm meaning. Uh, the romantic... The, the Romans capital of Italy. Or, I mean, there is like 15 Roman romantic capitals of Italy. 
Tuscany, uh, Florence, uh, Venezia. Um, yeah, there's a lot of romantic places in Italy, there is. Uh, it's gonna be a lovely time. I'm looking forward to it a lot. And I'm going on Tuesday and I'll be back on Saturday, so yeah, it's gonna be a little while there. And it's gonna be a really pleasant trip. I have... I'm sensing that it's gonna be a really pleasant trip, <laughs> I do. So, well, let's focus on the campaign. Again, let's fast forward this bitch a bit up. And let's go for the gate. Let's move forth with the melee forces as well. It looks like we can send in our archers because it doesn't look like they're gonna do anything. They're just gonna camp over there. Then we can, by all means, send forth all of our archers up here as well. I think we're close enough to bring down the gate. Let's go ahead and do that. If you can hit this, of course. And it looks like you can. If you can get in to the settlement, then feel free to do that as well. There we go, we're through. Catapults and ballistas, can you move for forwards here without clunking out the entire battle? Oh, the pikes are all in the front already, of course they are. They're all ways faster. You are moving forth, I do not like that. Uh, these defenders seem to be moving forth, and we need to stop that. Pikes, I'm gonna send you in first. Go for a protective line here, quickly. Protect our siege weapons at all costs. And the rest of you are also going to try and just move in here. As soon as you can. Do not run though, just walk inside like my siege weapons are doing. Just try and whittle these bastards down one second at a time. Take these archers up somewhere around here. On the side there. You can run if you want to. Oh, they're moving in fast now. They're moving in with speed. Where are my pikes? Where are those pikes? Am I blind? Oh, they're over there. They're over there. Okay, good. Block the entrance, please. Uh, go for guard mode and hold the line there at all costs. Okay. Uh, catapults and ballistas. Let's take a look. Can we reach this? Yeah, we can. Let's uh, feel free to fire these guys in the back then. And pikes are holding at the moment against some black Uruks. We are sending reinforcements in. They're on their way. The archers are running. They're also on their way. We could try and sneak. We don't want to do any friendly fire here, though, with the siege weapons. Is it, is it worth it to fire here? We're likely going to miss every shot anyways. That was a solid hit, though. That was an okay hit. Uh, we hit one, at least. I mean, nah, I'm not sure... That it, if it, it's worth it, you know what? Don't. Just will be ours. don't fire anything. You're just gonna kill our own troops, and my troops are really important. We need them alive. Archers, go to the flank quickly and fire in the sides of these guys, please. Yeah, just bring their Uruks down. My Pikes are doing too well, though. They haven't lost a single guy. They're winning on their own without my interference. They could probably take this entire blob down without losing a single soul. That's how powerful they are. That is how powerful the elves of... The Northern Elves are. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's fire at the blob. We are whistling them down hard. We might do some friendly fire with this firing, though. Maybe we shouldn't fire here. You know what? Focus on other areas. Let's send in the swords. They could help flank instead. And we could fire on these guys instead. Let's do that with the archers. You could flank and just surround them entirely if you want to. Yeah, let's do it. Let's surround them entirely. Uh, okay. Uh, just... Is the general over here? Is this the general? No. Yeah, he's, on, yeah, he's in there, I think. Just to weaken this orc defender unit down. You are going to charge on the side and this unit is going to charge from the back here. And we have an encirclement going on. We still haven't lost a single pike unit. Uh, he is getting hit though, this guy with the spear, but uh, hopefully he can stay alive. Should we support him? I think we are. Let's send in these spears as well. I don't want to lose a single pike unit this day. Send in the spears as well to block off a little bit here. Support the pikes as much as you can. Get in there before someone dies. No, he died! No, we lost one of our pikes there. Sad day. Move in. Try and just take this path here. Just 
box them in entirely like this. There we go. These guys should fall swiftly. Pop the ability as well. Oh, the first Orc Defender unit has been utterly crushed by my archers. Let's go for the next unit. And it might even break soon, if we're lucky. Let's fast forward a bit here. This is going smoothly. And let's go closer. Let's go. Let's risk it a bit. Let's be a little bit bold here. Let's move for the a little closer. My shots should do more damage then. Are they moving in with something? Uruk archers. Let's bring those bastards down as well. <clears throat> They're broken. Try and kill all of them. Don't let a single soul survive. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost Don't let them escape. Uh, it looks like some of them might be escaping here, sadly. They might interrupt my archers here. And their black Uruk archers are already utterly smashed, almost. They haven't done a single thing against us. Uh, go for the Orc Defenders in the back there. You could... No, that's the archers. Uh, you are going to move forth and bring down their pathetic Orc Defender frontline here. Oh, we're just carving through these guys. So fast. Shredding them to bits. Oh, they have one Orc Defender here. How on earth are you going to stop these spears? He's standing with his back. He's a bold Orc, though. Hey, he's dead. So much for glory, hey? Go forth, push, and destroy everything in your path. Because that's what these Orcs would have done to you. No mercy, no prisoners. Absolutely not. Okay. Their pathetic frontline here is getting whittled down more and more each second. And they're about to fall. Yeah, they're dropping fast. And the general is not in a good position. He's getting bombarded by my uh, archers, Noldorin archers. And yeah, these guys are done. Let's move in for these defender units. You can go for them if you want to. And if you could silence these black Rick archers, let's just send everyone in. You still have a lot of ammunition left. Go over here, finish the job, kill the general with archer fire. The they, there's two guys left, the general and one of his bodyguards still remaining. Shouldn't be too problematic. Our men no longer Get in the there and finish the job. There we go. And he should die quickly, I think. There we go. There we go. <laughs> well, this was a decent fight, I have to say. Uh, we did kill the entire army. And the most kills went to the Noldor archers. I'm not surprised. Not surprised. The Noldor veterans, 188. And how about the pikes? Where are those lads? Uh, 162. That's absolutely okay as well okay the black gate has been conquered let's sack it let's give it a go on the let's move for mount doom straight away morale on has fallen the black gate is no longer the black gate it's the, the gaze of the northern elves of middle earth that's how i would call it let's sack it for the money not that we need it though uh, how many movement points we have a lot of movement points with glorfindel not the rest of the army of course <laughs> But we're not going to linger here. Let's move on straight away. Let's not stop. Let's get a watchtower here. I really would have liked to have moved into the fort though. But uh, ugh, okay. As long as we're not inside of the settlements. Gondor. Uh, where's my diplomat? My lord. Uh, he's over there. Yes, my lord. Oh, we have talked to them this Him, time. My lord. Well, you can talk the to them then. Give them the black the gate. Let's hope that they can keep it until we destroy the ring. I really do hope so. An honor and a Did they get in the garrison? Nowhere. Absolutely not. I didn't expect that either. But we're on the move. We're soon there. We're really close. We're really close. Uh, we're getting there. Let's hope that there's not going to be a mortar army blocking the path here. I just want a free path over to the Black Gate without any major difficulties. How is it looking on the ring side of things? We still have the ring. We still have Gollum though. Hopefully he won't take it from us. That would be a complete disaster. 
Uh, Kedan, you're stuck there. I'm not sure we're even gonna go for Dervath. I think Rohan or Gondor could take it. We don't care. Engage! Okay, we're not gonna take that fight. They have a lot of deadly things. It's gonna be a disastrous outer soul I'm sensing. But you are going to move Come over to this box. area and try and reclaim some of their territories there. And we are going to end the turn now, and we are going to have a huge battle at Dunlarak with the Wildman Bastards. So that is something to look forward to. Is there anything we can retrain? Is there anything we can do? Nothing. Let's end the turn. Let's do it. We're sending troops here and there, all across our mighty Elven Realm. And darkness is about to fall, my friends. If our plan goes as planned, then the darkness should fall. There is still a bunch of uh, evil things out there. Even when Mordor and Dol Guldur falls. We have the legions of the Haradrim waging war against the free peoples. We have the mighty golden forces of Rune waging disastrous conflict in the eastern parts of this realm. And uh, yeah, there's still some even evil lurking around in the corners of this world. Mordor didn't do anything. That makes me happy. I have to admit that. It makes me a, a happy camper. It does. Okay, it looks like it's going to be our turn again soon. Uh, Belfal has reclaimed. You flipping legends. Dol Amroth has done it. Let's scout with the fleet. Give a little good scouting here. They did it. Dol Amroth has done something on their own. They actually took this region back by their own military power. That is a good sign. And look at this armor here. Lagloon, some trolls. Well, sit back and relax at Tarnos. If they attack us, well, then we're happy to fight them off there. We have a pretty elite armor to do it. And of course, they are blocking the path with a pathetic army. We are going to crush that army. Mordor is the most advanced, and soon they are going to be the most destroyed faction uh, when we destroy the ring. Okay, Bound Grand, Public Baths, just queue everything up here. We have the money. Furios, Crop Rotation, keep going for economical things, queue everything up. Condom, Public... let's go for some military here, why not? Uh, some more things has been retrained over there, that's good news. And uh, anything new we can do with that, let's retrain the Cav. <clears throat> okay, we have one guy here going to, that's going to help, that's nice. He can help as well, it doesn't bother me. You're going to march away though, Gildor. Move. Go away from this area, we do not need you here. Uh, oh, that's a Dunedain army. Okay, give me a second here, I'm gonna cut the recording here and I'll return to you when we have set up a huge clash here accordingly. Just give me one second. I think I've done it. I think we're going to have the biggest battle of the campaign inside the walls of Dunlarak. Let's take a look. Yeah, we have a lot of armies joining the fray this day. High Lord Elrond the Defender is the one attacking with his mighty, mighty army of Noldorian Elves. This is the most elite army in Middle-earth at this stage. There's nothing that can match Elrond's army in the world. We also have Phileon joining us in with a pretty damn bad army, if I do say so myself. It's not the greatest army in the world. They do have two bodyguard, Dunedain bodyguard units with them, which is a big plus, but the rest, no, they're not going to help too much. Let's take a look at the clans. We have High King Bregnir. I'm going to wait for him to the last. Uh, Maul Domhaniak. I have no idea if I did that right. Uh, he brings a pretty scary Enidwythian army with him, I have to say. He has some war wagons with him, he has marksmen, he has some foul and warriors, javelin men, and yeah, this is a pretty damn disgusting army that can do some damage to heavily armored Noldrin elves. And we have Curla as well, and if you look at that smile, if that isn't a smile of death and despair, then I have no idea who I am as a person. Look at that guy. This guy smiles and enjoys killing elves. You can see that on the way how he smiles. He is going to be a hard opponent to bring down in this fight. I have every bit of uh, fear that he might be a challenge to take down. And if you look at his army, he also brings some disgusting troops with him. Some decent spears, some 
axe-throwing assholes and some more marksmen. A lot of ranged troops. Captain Manthor is also joining. Some more decent troops. Inner Dwight Cavalry, pretty solid cav. Also a disgusting army to face. And we have Mungan, the spawned in Doomstack of Inner Dwight, which is also joining. He has himself the General's unit, which has been upgraded a bit. And of course, he has. Uh, let's take a look at him again. He has some uh, Tir Crocolioli Cosantiori. Uh, please, I'm butchering the names. I'm so sorry. 18 attack, 21 defense, some cavalry, some marksmen, elders, foresters, farland warriors, javelins, a lot of javelins, and yeah. This is going to be hard, even though we have a real big army. Let's take a look at High King Bregni as well. This is the High King of the Northern Dunedain, and he brings at probably the best armor that they have at this moment. Dunedain Blademasters, Dunedain Armsmen, Dunedain Wardens. Yeah, it's a pretty okay. A lot of melee troops, which I do like. We're gonna need all the melee troops we can get this fight. And he brings a few archers with him as well. Well, let's not wait. Let's have the biggest clash in the Third Age. Who could have thought that it would be the elves and the northern Dunedain fighting the wildmen? Um, I certainly didn't think it was gonna be this, but let's move in. Evil must not the fight of the ages is here. Start deployment, let's prepare the lads. This is going to be a clonky bonky fight. We need to destroy as much of the towers as possible. This is a stronghold though, so I'm not sure how much HP these towers are gonna have. I'm certainly hoping that it's not gonna be too much. I want to focus on one side here, because I want to make sure that we destroy the towers on one side. Uh, I don't think we have enough ammunition to destroy on other sides, so I'm gonna begin by focusing on this side. Uh, if we destroy these towers and have a lot of ammunition left, then we might move to another area uh, with these siege weapons. Um, forces, form up, take off... Uh, okay, you can keep these siege weapons. Do we, didn't we bring a ram? Yeah, we did bring a ram. Okay, good. Stand over there. The rest, prepare yourself. Do the Northern Elrond, stand over there. Archers, you're gonna be useful this day, I have no doubt about that. Cav, stand over there, make sure that you're ready. Start the battle, the go for the tower straight away. This is going to be a huge one, and the Dunedain, Dunedain armies are likely to try and fight off these reinforcing armies. I think this is the deadly army, this is the army that we need to watch out for, this is the Doomstack uh, they're spawning here. If these two Dunedain armies could help themselves together and go for the Doomstack, they might have a chance. But it looks like this army is getting attacked in the back here. So I'm gonna set this army to attack mode and attack this army. Go hard on this army. Uh, don't linger, go hard. Doing a dine. This army on the other hand, uh, kinda want you to move to my army if I'm perfectly honest. Let's try and get your army over here. I don't want you to fight the Doomstack on your own. How does it look here? Towers, are we bringing them down? I am not sure. We're hitting a bit though. Hopefully we can bring some of these towers down. I don't want them to bombard me. We're going to lose a lot of men if they do. Let's take a look. High King Bregnir is already in combat against the Wildman hordes coming in. And this is the armor that didn't have a war wagon. They should have an easy time here against them. They have some armsmen moving in here. Dunedain spears holding the line against the skirmishers. That's really good. Some uh, Dunedain cavalry fighting off uh, some skirmishers. Uh, what do we have here? Some Dunedain wardens. Uh, any more of their more exotic, expensive troops anywhere? Breland militia, that's not what the one that I wanted to see. Dunedain armsmen, yeah, those are good. And we have the blade masters here, upgraded. They're looking fine. Have we brought down a single tower yet? No, we have not. <clears throat> I am not pleased with that result. Uh, I'm not. But they don't have too many things guarding here. Are we even doing any damage to it? Surely that was a solid hit. Cam, why don't you go forth and scout for me a bit and see how much damage we've done to it. At, at least one tower we should be able to bring down. Surely. These are strongholds though and those towers never do dis get destroyed. That's just how they are. 
Oh, Bregnir is not in a good position. He's likely going to fight the Doomstack on his own soon. And you know what? Phileon, you're gonna have to help. Bregnir, how is it going? You need to kill them fast if you are to survive. You're going to be swamped soon. What do we have here? Do not and Blade Masters. No! Don't go alone, please. Go and focus here. All of you. Uh, tower, how is it going? 39%? Uh -uh. Go go as close as you can. At least one tower we have to bring down. Um, let's storm. Let's storm the gate with our elites now. Let's go. Yeah, let's... Yeah, they can fire at us. Doesn't matter. Ram, feel free to go as well. And you can drop your things. Let's prepare yourself and move forth. Pikes, go forth. Yeah, go escape. We need to hit every shot in order for us to have a chance of destroying this tower. That's the sad truth. Okay, that's enough. Go there. We should go for the walls maybe to d destroy a few of their things on the walls. This is a tree. It's a wooden wall. But uh, the HP of these things are just insane. If we hit everything here, we might have a shot of destroying this bloody tower. Come on. There we go. Some solid damage being done there. 60% there. God. These towers are really strong and sturdy. I have to say. They're re are we doing any damage? Yeah, we're doing some damage with the ballistas. But Only we're missing a lot of our shots. Go up on the walls there, please, will you? No the defenders. Uh, we're missing a lot still. That was a... No, that was not a hit. We're missing so much here. Just go up on the wall. Eregion Smiths, you're going to take the heaviest place uh, where they have the most of their units. They are going to shower us with some javelins, but hey, let's do it nonetheless. Bregnir, you are not in the good seat. You have destroyed the first arm almost entirely, but you're going to be swamped soon. Uh, you're gonna have to help. Give, go and help. I should have saved you for this fight. Go over there and do as much damage as you can. Try and help as much as you can. I'm not sure it's gonna be enough, but help your king because he is not in the best position in the world. Are now in place. Walls are but no he has destroyed the first army though, and I have to give him that. And he's getting surrounded by this stuff. Uh, oh, what do we have here? Silent mercenaries are. Tying up some men of the white marksmen, that's actually quite good. And what do we have here? Dude and Blade Masters are fighting some Ambaxtoy. That's also good. Well done. Yeah, oh. These ladders went high up in the sky. How does it look on the tower front? Come on, 94%. Ballista, can you please destroy one tower for me? Just one. There we go, 99%. Please hit. Ah, oh, come on. Please hit the tower one more time. We still have some ammunition left. Get rid of one tower and I would be really happy. It's gonna save us some lives. The last few shots you have, make them count. One miss. I think we have one shot left now. Oh, we missed again. One more shot or two or something. Come on, please hit the tower. Please hit the tower. Please do it. Nowhere to hide now. Oh, Ballista. You can do it. You just have... There we go. We did it. Okay. With the last shot. No, we have one more shot left. Oh, I think... No, it could have been the last, I think. Go away from there. You can just run away from the battlefield. Just go to the hills. Run to the hills. We're hacking down the gate. They're sending some reinforcements. Their Falana war wagons are moving in. Archers, it's time for you to move up and start bringing them down. Those things can do insane damage to my elves on the walls here. They are doing it all. Look at the amount of destruction they're doing to my Noldor defenders here. It's insane. Archers, move up. Do as much damage as you possibly can to these disgusting, disgusting war wagons. Pikes, you can move forth. Make sure that you're ready to fight. Dunal Nordstrom's going to move in soon as well. I think... You are going to die, Bregnir. I'm sorry to say. Fight until your last breath has been taken. Uh, you're going to stay here. Stay here. Just uh, go defensive and stay where you are. You're going to go in aggressive with me when we storm through the walls here instead. Oh, look at those war wagons. They are destroying me. They're so bloody powerful. Archers, we need you here. Now, pronto. 
You can go in and try and do some damage here now. Start hacking some of them down. Move in. In a lot of guardsmen would be a nice target to start bringing down, honestly. Go in. Archers, they're moving in with their bull wagons. We're not going to get the shots, but we want archers, Eldrons, every one of you. Fight the war wagons. You're going to fight whatever you can fight. Pikes, I'm going to send you in. Um, they have horses here, just go in. Do as much damage as you can. <clears throat> On the walls, we're beginning to destroy them hard. The uh, these the skirmishers are going to die quickly to now. my uh, smiths. I really want to get these smiths down as quickly as possible here, though. Because I want them to join the fight here. We're beginning to fire. Uh, you... Please, go aggressive. I wanted to move in here. Go and blob in on the square. Bregni is going to die anyways. He's not going to survive. Let's hope that he has done some good damage though. I think he's doing a pretty solid work here though. He's doing everything he can. Where is the king? Oh, he's standing there. Yeah, he's going to die. The king of the northern Dune and I is going to die this day. Push through pikes. Do everything in your power to squeeze in here. Bring those horses down, just get... Oh, look at the kills! We need to push fast against these war wagons because they're crushing us so hard. It's a bit laggy. You can focus the marksmen instead. Pikes, just push forwards. You need to push in. Destroy these war wagons as quickly as you can. They need to fall now. You're about to be done. They're sending more things up, though. But they're sending in against the veterans, that's okay, because I want the uh, smiths to go down here soon. The northern Dunedain troops are moving in as well. Let's take a look, we need to go faster in against these war wagons because they're crushing me. You're just pushing further in here. Smiths, go down, you're doing no good there. Move down from the walls. You're destroying these marksmen, that's good. You are fighting a lot of troops on your walls, so you can stay there. Stay there, fight. Spears are gonna stay here as well. We're still not going through to the war wagons, it's insane. We're not pushing them? How can we not kill them faster? These are cavalry units. Push, push, go, 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 go. They're, they're falling back now, aren't they? Of course they are. How can these cavalry units still be alive? They're standing straight in front of my pikes. They should be dead. Oh, we have lost a lot of smiths as well. They're probably focusing them with their bloody war wagons. Oh, well then, smiths, you're going to have to be the one, sadly, because these pikes have not yet killed these cavalry forces, which is insane. Charge in, go hard. They're f falling back. Okay, they're, oh, they're falling back. They're falling back, those cheeky bastards. Yeah, they're doing everything in their power to keep these war wagons safe. Make no mistake. Bregnir, you're doing everything in your power to hold them here. You're holding a lot of their forces off for us, the enemy are uh, which is a great thing. I'm men. not sure that we are going to win this fight. Uh, we could lose this one. Uh, it's actually a possibility. I'll just move up over there, please. You can run. You can take a melee scrap if it comes down to it. Melee forces, what I want you to do is to keep pushing up here on the hill here. Push. All of you. We need to get these marksmen down quickly. Not you though. You're going to stay up there and fight these. Bregner's died. He's dead. I think that he has done a lot of damage to them though. I do think he has. We have lost a lot, but this is the majority of this army is Bregner's army. But we have lost a lot of things too. Uh, we have. Let's not forget about that. And their war wagons are not yet destroyed. And Edwith marksmen are blocking the path here. I want you to just go through here and hack them down in melee, archers, because you can't do that. You're so much better than them in melee. So hack them down in melee. Feel free to do that. Eh. Uh, what on earth is this? Elrond, where are you? Why do you have an arch unit here? I didn't tell you to... Okay, if you're up there... Is there anything you could reach? No, nothing. Okay. 
we are trying to storm through here. The northern dune, the other northern dune army is helping us d to do it, but uh, oh, they have a lot of troops. They have so many armies. It's insane. They do have a lot of armies. Just push through. We need to get rid of this army. We need to get up on even grounds. Push, 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 push. Pikes, go into formation and fight them again. Just get rid of these bastards quickly. These units are beginning to die. That's good. Uh, keep pushing. Go to this position. We need you to fire on this blob here. Yeah, Bregnir is dead. A new king of the Northern Dune and Iron will surely come soon after this battle. Look at the amount of armies that they still have, though. We need to try and set up some defensive positions. Uh, this unit needs to die. Quickly. Oh, they're just blocking more and more things in here. Warband blades are coming here now. Is there anything we could do? Could we just try and move to this side a little bit and flank them? Get rid of these blades quicker. Push forwards. Don and Austin, you're going to have to move in as well. We're going to need you in this fight. Pop your ability. Help the guys out. Move in. Fight. Spears, move in. We're going to need you. Absolutely sure of it. Uh, Cav, I should have used you, shouldn't I? Of course I should. Mm, go over here, try to do something. Help uh, the remnants of High King Bregner's army. Oh, they're going to send something to block us. Mordax skirmishers. Go into melee with them, stop them. Block a path. We want to have a clear opening for our archers to fire on. You should be able to handle them in melee with ease. Um, Tauts are there. Have a lot of things on the walls here. Okay, this art unit, just try and fight uh, whatever you can fight still. I have no idea what's going on here. Okay, just try and move down then. Are they just trying to push in? Oh, that! Like, how can they do this? We've sent one unit to stop them, but they're still just pushing into my units, stopping all of my artists from firing. That's just uh, so lovely, isn't it? <laughs> These guys are still fire. Oh, they're sending in their bloody war wagons now as well. Please bring them down, for the love of God, bring them down. Start moving down to the square as well, begin hacking them down. Look at the time, I mean, we still have a timer that we need to focus on a bit. Uh, More like skirmishers, are you okay? They're sending forth the rest of their armies as well. We need something here to block us in, block them off a bit. No, Don and Austin, you're okay, you're taking the right path, good. Spears, we need you up here. We need you up here to block. Quickly. Cav, do we have anything to charge? A lot of disgusting Cav. Go in for the Cav. Try and bring them down. And we have a few things there that you could charge as well. Um, Yeah, you're the, on the walls. You're over there. Uh, you are going to have to push forwards. All of you. Go for the square. Spears, where are you? You're over there. One spear in it, at least. Go for them. You're freed up. You should be able to fire. Go for some shots. Endwife Cavalry over there. Eldar and Rockwen are going for the Endwife and Cavalry with their towers that are going to support. What can you go for? Foul and Warriors, go for a charge on them. Push everything in. Everything is gonna fight. We're taking this path. Where's the other spear unit? You're over there. You're moving into combat. Oh, they're going to stop us. Of course they are. Pop your ability, Elrond. Uh, can you, like, go for this unit, please? Just stop this these clan heralds from firing. I would be most happy if you could do that. They have a lot of units. Uh, make no mistake, they do. Don and Austin, where do we send you? Uh, flank around. Go for, go, go around here. Flank, if you can. We're absolutely pushing them to the brink on the square, though. That's a fact. How is it going here? Did you win the battle? I think you are winning. It looks like it. You are doing well. Uh, go for the Tota. You are doing well outside. Let's go for another charge with you. This arm is still quite healthy. Bregnir has done a l great work, though. I have to give it to him. Go for the other foul arm warrior units. You're not doing anything at the moment. Go for... What do we have here? Oh, Billman. Don't go for that then. Go for some Kiefer Huntsman. Did well on the Tauta. 
This is the clan herald unit. If we can kill him, we should be able to break the entire army quite easily. We are pushing into the square quite hard. Oh, we killed him, we killed him. They're gonna break now. Don and Austin, you're gonna block the path here or something. Pop the ability again. Fabulous warriors, you're stuck in combat. You're moving in for these Kifi huntsmen. You're not doing anything at the moment. Uh, go for some uh, Dubshite foresters. Yeah, he's dead. I'm not gonna, in, even going to try to pronounce that name. Uh, what do we have here? Lila Spearman, Mordex Skirmishers. Go over ours. there. Uh, keep pushing. Go in. Do not linger. Uh, they're moving back. Yo, the, oh, the other arch unit is here now. That's good. Uh, they're still sending in a lot of things against my archers, trying to stop them from firing. Uh, Cav is deep into enemy territory. It's lagging hard in this battle. It's not too strange, though, because we have a lot of enemies on the field. More like skirmishers go for that. Uh, Tota, unbox Thoi. Keep charging things. Uh, the square should be ours. They still have some spearmen defending to the last. Uh, where's the rest of this unit? Get them all forth. Uh, you are moving in. If you could flank here. Yeah, fa flank these units here, please. Help out as much as you can. They're going to have a lot of troops coming in from here soon. We need to prepare for that. Just kill off these remaining Enedwythian armies inside. And... Uh, Let's uh, prepare for a defense here. Yeah? These guys, they're just running through. How can they do this? I have no idea. They're just going through us. It's really weird. Pretty damn weird. Are they, wh which paths are they going to take? Cavalry, how is it going for you? You're doing so well. Do go for the Crocolori Cosantiori. Go for the Marksman. Another general killed. Uh, let's prepare. Where are they going to strike us, though? On the walls, I was looking here. We have finally won here. Took a while. Let's send you up here. Let's. It's time to defend now. They should be moving in here. Oh, they have some ranges there. Uh, okay. Pikes. Create a area here block these forces off guard mode on archers the, the few we have left stand over here and fire you two stand over there fire at whatever you can we need to have something on the square this the oh they have troops left how on earth is this possible kill these remaining bastards then Oh, these guys are moving in. They're going to fight to the bitter end. Cav. Oh, lag, lag, lag. We're doing a lot of damage to them outside. They have a lot of buildmen, though. Skirmishers. Go after these disgusting skirmishers. Can we please just get rid of these guys on the square, please? Oh, they have some more troops on the way. Are they going to take the long way around here? Are they going to take this path all the way around? They should move in for the closest area, which is this area here. 73% of their arm has been killed. Surely the square should be safe soon. Uh, what do they have left? Eight remaining. Come on. Take that off then and just finish the job, please. Two remaining, come on. Kill that one last guy there. He should die soon. There we go, he's dead. Good. And form up over here. All of you, pikes, go there and defend. Uh, why are we not in control of the bloody settlement yet? Do, what do they have here? What am I missing? Is there a general here somewhere? We killed that guy. We should be in control now. Surely. Yeah, we are. Good. 
Okay, I think we've cleansed out the settlement from Enedwythian filth, uh, which is good news. A fire at whatever. Tono Norston, prepare yourself for some action. Cav, how are you doing outside? You're doing well still. Skirmishers are throwing at me. Uh, Billman, yeah, just go for the Billman then, just go for whatever. Oh, they're focusing everything here. Can we fire on those guys? If we can, then feel free to try. It's a big blob there. What we should do, we should send the cab in, because I want them to charge me instead. Let's send the cab away here, so that they don't focus the cab anymore. Send them away from the battlefield. Let's just have them focus everything that they have remaining here. I mean, I guess we are likely going to win all the time here. There is a possibility for it. You've done well, Cav. You've done enough in this fight. Oh, Only shaken. Oh, that's because you're getting shot by poison archers. You're not going to rout, though. Absolutely not. Keep up the fire on the clan heralds down there. You can run away now. You have done your purpose in this fight, Cav. Well done. Excellent work. Uh, and nothing on this side, what I can see. We did. We have lost a lot of our troops, though. Has to be said. Are they chasing after my cab? I think some of them might be. It's the fact that they still have forces outside the Northern Dunedain. That's why they're not moving in. And they're fighting bravely, these Breedland militia, I have to say. Doing well. We are destroying some warriors here. Kosciantori. He should surely die soon. Please kill him. Don't let him march through. There we go. Thank you. Hold. Stay where you are. Here comes some more billmen. Nothing to worry about. Foresters, billmen. Oh, they're just pushing here. They're pushing everything here. They refuse to go in. Go for the billman then. No, oh, just destroy these archers, please. Get rid of them. They're starting to send a few more troops here, but the Dunlending Longspears belonging to the Northern Dunedain are actually fighting off some uh, Lydon Spearmen here. Uh, they're not going to be able to break through these pikes, though. Absolutely not. Surely. Three pikes here should be enough to hold the gates or the opening to the settlement. What do you still have? 217 force remaining. Where? On the square. Oh. Dunlending long space. You still have some forces left. Bregnir, go out with a bang. Send your last forces into combat. Battle is very much okay. in our favor. Victory will be ours. Yeah, these guys are getting smashed. You are delivering some heavy blows to these forces. Yeah, they're getting shut down hard. Uh, can you go closer? Yes, you can. Good. Let's move closer with you then. Can you move? Oh, you're out of ammunition. Just go fall back somewhere. Go over there. <laughs> what can we fire on with you? Uh, Billman, go for some volleys on them. There we go. You can actually go for these uh, foresters. Elon, how do you look? Are you blooded up at all? No, you're not. You're looking fine. Donna Norston, how about you? You should be fine as well. Yeah, you look mighty fine. And they refuse to go here. They're afraid of us. They are afraid. That's what they are. Are they going to break these poor long spears? How's the fight looking here in the center? Oh, they're broken, a lot of them. They're just getting smashed by my pikes. Mm, uh, they're just chasing these Dunedain forces. Rather than moving in. And these guys are moving down to hunt 
and advise the intruders. You can go out. Go out from the settlement and do some damage to them while they chase our human brothers. Pursue and run them down. Well, victory is ours. That's a guaranteed fact. They are not turning this around. Absolutely not. Archers with ammunition. Fire at these foresters, please. <clears throat> you are going to go out and meet these uh, Dunedain Wardens. These, these heroic human beings. Truly, the blood of Numenor is flowing through their veins. Go for the Billmen, even though they're armor-piercing. Just go for them. You're warmed up as well. Let's take a look at this combat here. Well, maybe I should have sent Bregnir to our positions instead. Yeah, you're gonna charge them from the back here, yeah, it looks like. Yeah, you are. Yeah, there we go. Get in there. Do as much damage as you possibly can. They're still focusing everything they have over here. You're still fighting some of their troops here. Victor seems certain. We're holding, we're blocking them off here. Everything looks in order. Spears, you're quite healthy. You could move down. Dawn of Norston, you haven't seen any action yet. Go down. Eldron, move down as well. You're gonna go into melee here. Why not? Go down. Let's go out with a bang with our generals. I don't think that they are going to die. Yeah, there's heavy fighting going on outside here. We're actually losing some troops. The pikes are gonna stay here though. Uh, we still have needed some. Yeah, we have some swords and smiths on the square. I don't want the time to run out. We need to have troops on the square at all times. Fast forward a bit as well. A lot of death has happened this day. And truly, this is the great victory against the Nidwaith. Dolan Orson and Eldrond, together, I want the you to move in, in these last uh, sec uh, minutes of this battle. Get in. Uh, are you taking a weird path now? No! Bloody hell, take the regular path. Don't go up the bloody wall. Take the open gate, please. Jesus. What seems to be... Oh, nine remaining. They've done a lot of damage to me, here. Yeah? Spears, we're gonna need you. If we are to send, send our finest in, we need some kind of support. All right, all right. Are we getting there? We are. Form up quickly and fight them. The two strongest generals in Middle Earth are going out together to fight the Wildman Hordes one last time. Okay, let's go. Let's charge in for the glory of the Noldrin Elves. For many past mistakes of the Noldrin Elves. And uh, let's repair those mistakes by making things right in the Third Age. Oh, they're killing a lot of my troops here, these javelins, they are. They're scary, these javelins. They are, they're so scary. They're doing so much damage, it's insane. One minute, can we hold out for that long? We might lose a general here. It's a possibility. There's Dorno. We need some tension. Oh, he's over there, he's fine. Eldon, where are you? You're over there, you're fighting a flag carrier. And you're not bloodied up. You should be able to kill him. There we go, he's dead. Well done. Well done. Oh, there's some clan heralds there. Would like to kill those. Uh, because there's, there's likely still a general left alive in this fight. Somewhere. Could it be the one with the smiling face? The guy with the death smile? Could be. Could be. We are destroying them. Going for the clan heralds. Elrond, fight them. Don't run away from combat. We are going to continue because I want to destroy their general if they have one here. 
he needs to die. I do think they have a general still alive somewhere. I think that is him. Yeah, they have a general still, still alive. So let's kill him. And let us be done with this fight. Otherwise, he's going to survive. Oh, Elrond, what are you doing? Are they moving in? What on earth is going on here? Can we please just kill the general? Is he going up on the ladders? No. He should be somewhere around in here, I think. Oh, they're not going to survive this. There we go. Mungan is dead as well. And this is going to be the end of this battle. Oh. Oh. I thought it was one of my elves first. Curla. I think Curla was the one with the evil smile and he died as well. Well done. <laughs> Quit the battle. There we go. We lost 561 troops. Um, I think we have lost more, but we healed a bit. Um, Phileon, 664 kills. He did help a bit. Uh, Bregni, though, he did help a lot. 2,000 uh, kills he did get. So he did actually do some work for us, but we did the most, of course. With this army, of course, we did. Let's take a look at the kills. Uh, Noldor Archer's 429 there. And Eldarin with Rockwin, 521. They did well outside. Yeah. Pretty solid work. Dunlarak has fallen, and all of these and Edwithian armies have been utterly crushed. Glorious battle. We did lose High King Bregnir in the process, but um, there should be a new factioner ready to take his spot. Well done. Oh, we actually captured one of the generals. Well, execute them. The Nudenai leader is dead. A sad day indeed. A really sad day. Yeah. Who is going to be the new faction leader of the Northern Dunedain? I wonder. Sack it. Uh, any one of these guys? No. Oh, they both of them survived. That's job well done. And they did keep some of the troops in this army. They healed a bit of them. Okay. Let's move out. Northern Dunedain, you're about to get your next region. Yes, Give region. You, my friend. How can we help? Dunlarak, you're welcome. I Thank you for the help, though, in the battle. And uh, did you get a garrison? Yes, some Dunlin long spears. Wonderful. Uh, stand in line for the bridge. I'm going to ignore both Herot and Dunyard. We're not bordering these regions. I'm gonna let the Northern Dunedain finish them off themselves. They should be able to. Let's focus everything we have into this area. Let's go besiege Ginyard. They have some great beasts inside. Uh, these, both of these armies are going down here. Uh, the Northern Dunedains are not bordering any other enemy. They should absolutely be able to take these two regions down on their own. And I'm gonna let them do it. I am. I am but an ally, Lord. Let's not linger here though. We need to bring this army down. Captain Thrushak. Um, some Temple Knights he has with him. A lot of Orcs and Black Uruks and things like that. And if we bring him down, we need to bring the entire army down. Because if we don't, they are going to block us in the fort. So if we bring him down... Oh, they've took, taken back Morana already. They've done it. Uh, it doesn't matter though. Bring this entire army down. Move for Mount Doom. Let's go in and let's take Captain Thrushak down. Start deployment. Uh, I recognize this battle map. We should have the arch advantage and the siege advantage. Let's try and just bombard their army uh, till oblivion. Uh, that's the plan here this day. Totally bombard them. You can stand somewhere around there. Archers, you're standing over that. Cav, you can stand over there somewhere. And uh, that's gonna be it. Start the battle. Can you reach? That's the question. Uh, no, you cannot. If you move over here to this area, can you reach from there? I think you might be able to. Archers, follow. Melee forces, move to this location here. Walk over there. We missed you, let's take you on as well. You can run into position. Uh, 
or a cab, I want to group you up as well, there we go. Okay, fast forward. This armor shouldn't be a problem to take down. Uh, I don't want to lose too many things because they might, they might send a few armies our way. They have uh, the military power to do so, and we need to have an army intact if we are to survive inside of their lands. Okay, black Uruks are moving in. Uh, archers, feel free to bombard them. You should reach from this position, shouldn't you? Maybe not. Let's go a little bit closer then. Go over here. I really want to start my harassing of this army. Surely we should be in range now. Uh, we are in range with a few of our troops. Siege weapons should be in range soon as well. Cavalry, I want you to move in here and prepare to protect the archers. Yeah, go for the black Uruks, that's the ones. Those are the ones you can actually... Oh, what are you doing? Stand over there. Yeah, it doesn't look like they want to do anything. We're just harassing them down here with their archers. Siege weapons. You are firing, that's good news. Uh, take fire mode. You are going to do that as well. You can reach, it says so, but uh, I'm not sure that you can actually. Let's see. Oh, this might be a... Oh, so close. So close. Are they moving down now? I'd like to fire some of my shots on their more withdrawn troops. Go forwards more. Catapults should be able to reach from this position. You're reaching. Not anymore though. But catapults can. Let's let them fire then. There we go. What are you firing on? Can you fire here somewhere instead? Okay, just fire there. You can fire there. You can fire in the center. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was a good one, I think. Pretty solid one. Okay, that was a good one though. Just empty the ammunition we have with the catapults. Kill as many as possible. They're not doing anything anyway, so let's just do as much as we can against them. The catapults are getting a lot of kills on them here, for free. They've killed 15% of their army. Oh, look at the hits. We're getting a lot of hits in here. Oh, some more. I'm in luck, luck with the hits. Oh, there we go. More regular round there. A lot of misses. There we go, some more hits. Critically weaken, weakening these troops here. Yeah? Okay. That's about enough. Ballista, go forth. See if you can fire as well for free. If they're not going to do anything, then just go go on. You're done. Go over there. Just run away to the hills somewhere. <coughs> not in range. No, go forth. Oh, they're sending something forth. Okay, archers are moving forth. That's good. Let them move forth. Oh, they're sending forth all of their archers. Cavalry, if you want to be ready, yeah, pull forth as well. Let's try and weaken all of their archers. Ballista is missing everything but one shot. Focus in this area here, where, where they are the, the most thickest. Take this path here, cavalry, instead. Can you reach these guys? No. Then focus on the archers then. Are they falling back again? It looks like they are. 27% of their army has been killed. We're slowly but surely getting there. Are they moving up a bit with their troops now? Archers, you can move forwards a little bit if you want to. Can We, we can reach the back line now, that's good. Focus down the halberdiers. We have delivered a lot of damage to their archers, so just keep doing as much damage to their um, backline. You can focus down the archers if you want to, uh, so that we actually bring them down as well. The ballista is doing some solid work now as well. How many do they have left? 25, go for the black hurric archer now instead. Their army has been really weak. Oh, they're retreating. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. That's not what we want. 
Try and follow them. Oh, they're gonna be able to escape. They are. Glof not you, Glofner. I don't want to risk your life. We don't want to lose the ring. <laughs> Keep firing as much as you can on them. Uh, archers, uh, cavalry, you're gonna move in. G go for some charges. They have halberdiers there. Melee infantry, you're moving in as quickly as you can. I don't think we are going to be able to catch them though. But they have withdrawn. They're likely going to move back to the fort, which is not what we wanted. Archers, run away. You've done enough. We're not going to be able to kill them all here, sadly. Oh, they're escaping. Continue as long as you can and kill as many as you can. Oh, that's about everything. 67% though of their army has been killed. That's good. That's really good. We could potentially just auto-resolve an attack on the fort. We should be able to. Okay, this was a pretty solid work then, I have to say. Well done. Oh, click the right thing. Well, let's see where they are going to go back to. Execute! They went into the fort, of course. But then again, we could probably stand over here. For a turn. Oh, they have a Narskull there. I'm going to risk it. Clear victory. That's totally fine with me. Uh, let's go in. Move out straight away. Go this way. And move for Mount Doom. We are there. We're one turn away from reaching Mount Doom. And we still have our arm intact. We still have the ring, right? Yes, we do. Great, great, great. Uh, Gondor still holding, Dol Amroth has reclaimed Dol Amroth, uh, good news there, all across the board. The Turin is on his way back to Mithlon, he's going to take one of the last ships leaving Middle-earth, he's going for Valinor. He has deserved that, he truly has. Okay, let us end the turn, let us do it. Um, let's see what happens. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to be able to destroy the ring just yet, but uh, hopefully soon. Hopefully we're not going to have to wait too long until we get the mission completed thingy so that we can actually drop the ring in. I'm not sure that we are going to do it in this episode though because I'm thinking that I'm going to end this one soon because it's actually quite late and I'm working tomorrow. So I'm half sorry but I have to soon take it away. Uh, should we fight this one? I don't think so. We're going to withdraw back instead. Oh, all the guys, they don't have any generals, they're great beasts. Try and withdraw. Still time oh, they didn't attack people. us. Okay, good. Go back to friendly territory. We don't need to push Elves. here because Mordor is going to die soon anyways. From us destroying the ring. And then all of those armies are just going to be rebel. I wonder if we should go into the lands of Harad and uh, the lands of Rune when we have surely they should focus down these they're bordering Herod and Dunyard they should go in there go together lads go together don't risk yeah, let's try and take this path here if we can Bruinost upgradable let's do it on the towers keep everything up there Arn on the road, queue everything up. Austin at heal, everything. Cam at the brain, go for everything. I'm just gonna queue up everything because we have the money now. We are beginning to just be that powerful. Gehuzanur has been upgraded. This is what a high elven large town looks like, if you're interested. Is that everything? I think so. Good. Can we train some troops here? We should maybe be able to. Let's retrain the ones we can retrain. Let's go for it. Coming of age, Beleg spawned in Ostinavil. And he spawned with upgraded armor. That's nice to see. Where do we send him? I have no idea. Go Bedrine, Garth Helegoff. You could go to Garth Helegoff. It's be a long journey for you, but let's get there. Okay, we have these armies on the way. Kirdan, you're gonna wait for further reinforcements before we move in. 
And uh, oh, they're chasing us, but we are we are here. We are here. We have reached our goal. Mount Doom has been reached. They have an army there. Ignore it. Don't attack it. If they want to attack us, let them attack us. I want to play defensive battles here, not offensive. Glorfindel is likely going to die. His spirit will go to the halls of Mandos and be reincarnated again, I think, because of his heroic deeds. Go over there. Uh, let's end the turn again. There's nothing more we can do, honestly. Let's just end it. And this is going to be the last turn that I'm ending in this episode. The continuation of this campaign is going to have to wait. Let's see if we destroy the ring now or if it's going to happen in the next episode. That's what I'm interested in. Mordor is going to fall soon. And boy, am I glad that they are. The free peoples should really be able to just mop up the evil remnants on their own now. Harad and Ruin are still alive, but uh, against the power of Kassatum, Dorwinion, Dale, Erebor, uh, Gondor, Dolamroth, Rohan even, they are likely to fall. Swiftly. Can is still alive, actually. That's insane. Yeah, still no mission about the ring, eh? No. Not in this episode, then. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick toggle for war and take a look at the map and how things are looking. Uh, Lothlorien has lost Eidrachan, but they still have Amon Lank. Oh, this is the faction now. Karandol. It's impressive that they still have Amalank. They still have Karas Galadon and Lim here as well, so they are still okay. They have Fangorn Camp. I really like the fact that the Larmoth is fighting back. That's nice. This army is actually looking too pretty solid as well. They might be able to do something against Mordor. My army here is just going to march out straight away as soon as we've defeated Mordor and just cleanse some of these areas off. Uh, they're beginning to stack some armies up here. We're going to have a fight with them, I think, before we destroy them. I have a sense that we are likely to have one last big clash with Mordor until we can defeat them. <clears throat> Over here, there seems to be a stalemate, as always, on this front. Uh, there always is a stalemate here, in the new version, it looks like. It looks like you only have one region left. Beyond's Halls, and you are under siege by a mighty full-stacked Kassadum army. So, Gundabad is likely to fall soon. Kassadum has finally started doing things on their own. They have a lot of armies here. Dol Guldur is likely to follow. If Kassadum focus everything they have on Dol Guldur, they are going to fall as well. Uh, they're under siege, they have a full-stacked army though. They should be able to defeat that army, I think. Looks like they're actually moving out Not a bit with their armies. That's man. nice. Yeah, that's how things are looking here. Harad is still sandwiched in, uh, which means that they're not doing anything here. But as soon as the rebels have started, Harad is going to expand rapidly. They are going to expand quickly. They're still fighting off the last region that Khan has, and Khan is likely going to lose it soon. They have a potent arm inside and a general outside, but other than that, they should fall soon from Harad. And Harad is likely to gobble up a lot of these rebel regions here. And the thing is, Harad doesn't have too many enemies. They're protected by Rune here. Uh, what I'm going to try and make sure to happen here is to make Gondor strong and Dol Amroth strong again, so that they can fight together against Harad and win in the end. They should, if they fight together, be able to win. Gondor, are you going to take Durvath? Uh, you could, if you want to. All Northern Dune and I can take it, why not? I mean, you can keep moving <coughs> as well. It looks like the Northern Dune and I are fighting uh, Dunland here. And hopefully they can take down Heorot as well. It's the last region of Enadwaith. They have the army to do do so. Your attention is an honor, noble ally. Do we have a new king anywhere? A new uh, Dunedain king? Somewhere? Come, my brothers. No idea. <clears throat> Elves, we must uh, and the general's out walking around. What's this? 
Morfin Thor. Not the king over here inside here. No, there's no general in there. Out of four. No, I don't think so. Maybe Gandalf is the new <laughs> faction leader. He's, he might be the high king of the northern Dunedain. Who knows? I have no idea where the king is. Um, it would be interested, interesting to see where he, where he is, though. But, uh, yeah. I don't think we are going to spot him. No, I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Well... Things are looking great. Uh, I mean, things are not looking great if you look at the map now, but in a few turns it should look great. And uh, they're sending more armies, though. We Hopefully the mission is going to happen soon, because we don't have the force to fight off too many more armies. We're likely going to fight off all of these armies soon. They have great beasts in there. Uh, we don't have any javelins, so this is a bit scary. This is not the best army in the world as well, remember that. Uh, we are likely going to have to fight off some Mordor stacks before we destroy the ring. That's how it is. Well, I hope that you enjoyed. Have a beautiful day. Remember to check out Raven Shadow uh, when you're done with this video. Have a great day. Goodbye to you all.